Yeah, better tie your hat on before you go in there. The president's blowing the roof off. Yeah, who's getting it now? Say, did you get me that seat for the fight? The president's yeah. waiting for that coffee. It's okay, Mr. Pettigrew. Our figures prove that a minimum average of three million cars must be built every year in order to maintain 21 million cars on the road. Heretofore, the Drake Motor Car Company has supplied 17 and 8 tenths percent of the total. Just a minute. I've been listening to you for over an hour and all I've heard is a lot of statistics. You've all got statistic poisoning. In case you don't know it, this business is slipping. Fast. We're making better motor cars than we ever made when Father was alive. We're not selling them. Why? But, Miss Drake, for the last three years... That's the trouble with you. All I've heard is the last three years. Our problem is this year. And it's your business to sell cars. That's all. Oh, Cooper. May I speak with you a moment, please? Yes, Miss Drake. How long have you been here? Sixteen days, to be exact. You like your work? Oh, yes, indeed, very much. I've been trying to make an appointment with you to talk over a new sales promotion plan of my own. Well, I haven't got time to go into that now. Suppose you come to my house to dinner tonight at 7.30. We'll talk about it then. Uh, That's all. Thank you very much. Attractive fellow, don't you think? Pettigrew, you're an old snoop. Yes, just a moment, please. I want to see those advertising payouts as soon as they're ready. Mr. Warren's waiting to see you. Oh, Mr. Logan think... wants to talk to you about the peerless paint order. I haven't time. Now, if you'll I'm sorry, me... Mr. Drake, have... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hello, Logan. I'll give you my decision tomorrow. Yeah. Mr. Drake, will you sign these, please? Uh, Mrs. Brown is calling on you. Mrs. Brown? Never heard of her. Change the date on this one. The contract starts on the 15th. She said to tell you... Petty, why will you worry me with visitors? Very well. She said to yes? tell you Harriet. She went to Just school with you. Harriet? For you, Miss Drake. Harriet Brown, of course. Well, I suppose I'll have to see her. Well, tell her to come in. Send those out right away. That'll be all. Hello. This way, please. No. No, I, I won't consider it. Alison. Hello, Harriet. Now, tell him to make me a better offer. This is a surprise. I just couldn't go by without stopping in to see you. Sit down. I'm driving to Rochester all alone. Don't you think I'm brave? Positively heroic. How well you're looking. So are you. Not a day older. Oh, well, I've got loads to tell you. And I want to hear all about you. Of course, I can't get over your running this enormous factory. Oh, I, I hope you're not busy. Oh, no, no. Hartley wants to know about that Caswell shipment. Tell him to take that up with the branch manager. How's your husband, Tom? You mean Dick? Oh, Dick, yes. <laughs> He's fine. He's treasurer of the company now. Is he? Mm. Let's see, there were two children, weren't there? Hello? Three. Two boys and a girl. Two boys and a girl? Mm. What? No, not yours, Bradley. Yeah. Well, I told you what to tell him. Why didn't you do it? Well, that's my answer and that's final. Two girls and a boy. I'm so sorry. Well, oh, I mean about the telephone. <laughs> where are you staying? At the hotel. I'm leaving in the morning. Nonsense, where are your bags? Downstairs in the car. Mr. Drake, what about that shipment to Los Angeles? I take it up with the transportation. Oh, Briggs, tell Pettigrew to get Mrs. Brown's bags. You're coming out to the house to stay with me tonight. Oh, I can't. I oh, don't... nonsense. We'll have a beautiful old-fashioned visit. I won't be five minutes. Briggs, take Mrs. Brown down to my car. San Francisco, call Oh, San Francisco, me. put them on. Hello? Isn't this exciting? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. Send him in later. Hello? Good afternoon, miss. Good afternoon. you take Mrs. Brown up to my room? Yes, miss. I won't be a second here. All right. This way, please, madam. So you've been fighting again? No, ma'am. Didn't you promise me to stay out of those preliminaries at the stadium? This was no preliminary. This was a main event. You want to be on your heels when you're 30? And blind like the rest of those pork and bean fighters? Guy made a crack I didn't like. What did he say about me? Oh, it wasn't about you. Now, listen, Puggy. Things people say about me don't bother me. Thanks just the same. Oh, you must relax, Miss Drake. No, I don't try. Oh, 
Oh, Della. Yes. Della, will you telephone the factory and tell Mr. Pettigrew that I'll handle that Ajax glass contract myself in the morning? Very well. You really must relax, Miss Gray. Here come lemon or cream, madame? Cream and two sugars, please. Cream and two sugars? My, you're a reckless woman. No wonder you look happy. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid marriage agrees with me. But come, you haven't yet told me what I want to hear. What? Any romance in the offing? Romance? <laughs> me? I haven't got time. Aren't you ever going to fall in love? It's a career in itself. It takes too much time and energy. To me, a woman in love is a pathetic spectacle. She's either so miserable that she wants to die, or she's so happy you want to die. Aren't you ever going to marry? No, thanks. Not me. You know, a long time ago, I decided to travel the same open road that men travel. So I treat men exactly the way they've always treated women. You evidently have much respect for men. Oh, of course, I know for some women, men are a household necessity. Myself, I'd rather have a canary. My, but you've changed, Allison. You're not the same girl I knew in school. Why, you used to be so romantic and so, well, so different. You mean I've grown hard and cynical? Something like that. Oh, well, perhaps you're right. But darling, you can't work with men for 14 hours a day for five years and not lose your girlish illusions. Well, if it does all that to you, why did you go into the business in the first place? Necessity. Because when Father died, I was the only one who knew anything about it. And now here I am. I can't let go. It's like holding a tiger by the tail. Oh, but I love it, the battling and the excitement. I don't think I could do without it now. But you're missing so much, Alison. The real things, the... You mean men? Yes. Oh, I see lots of men. But I've never found a real one.